So this video will somewhat piggyback off of my fast and compact creation guide video, so I recommend watching that before this. This is the first of several videos that will explain tulpa creation concepts more in detail and provide advanced insights I've learned from studying tulpa creation and hearing many different experiences from across the community. Our topic today is KISS, Keep It Simple Stupid. When many people decide to take the plunge and create a tulpa, they become entangled in overcomplicated processes and unnecessary steps either based off of what someone told them or based on their own assumptions and instincts. For most people, all you really need to do to create a sentient and vocal tulpa is to talk to them. Seriously, it's that simple. Try to convince yourself that there is a tulpa forming in your mind and try to talk with it. Give it room to respond to everything you say and make sure you're trying to have a discussion instead of a one-sided rant. Just simple talking should be the vast majority of your time spent making a tulpa. Talk to your tulpa about your day, about life, about anything you want. Encouraging words and affection are always helpful, not only because the tulpa will appreciate them, but also because positive emotions likely have a positive impact on the effectiveness of your forcing. This could consist of passive conversations as you go about your day, explaining what you're doing, or lengthy sit-down sessions where you take the time to really let your thoughts pour out, or anything in between. Of course, for some people, this may get tiresome, especially before your tulpa can formulate responses. In that sense, adding in occasional alternative methods of forcing, such as imagined adventures or physical interactions, can help keep you focused and interested. A bit of variety may be healthy if it keeps you motivated, because one of the most important parts of a successful creation process is, for many people, repetition of forcing methods over a period of time that can become weeks or months in length. Of course, you should avoid letting these actions become your main method of forcing, because they may ultimately distract you from your true goal of creating a tulpa who can think and talk on their own. Keep in mind that even if you have no apparent progress, that doesn't mean you aren't getting anywhere. Persistence is key, and you should never give up just because you have lost motivation. Your tulpa is there and listening, so just talk to it.